Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We have a new 21.2 acre ranch in New Mexico. This property has electricity, telephone, and internet lines already in place. There's road frontage along the entire east and south boundaries, and it has got private gated access to roughly 300,000 acres of the Cibola National Forest. This is the property highlighted here in green. It's 21.23 acres. You have roughly 1,900 feet of road frontage along the entire east side. That's over a third of a mile. And then along the southern boundary, you have about 1,600 feet of road frontage. So you've got great access to the property. Then here are the electricity lines and poles, and there are underground telephone and internet lines in place all along the road. Here's a photo showing the electricity lines and poles on the property. And this is the intersection at the southeast corner of the property. So this is the road that runs along the entire east boundary. Again, you've got over a third of a mile of road frontage along the east boundary. And then this is the road that runs along the southern boundary. This is the interactive map with the partial highlight in green. If we zoom out here a little bit and turn on some of these layers, go to the map legend, turn on the map features, and you turn on the layers. This is the road to the National Forest North Gate, and this is the road to the National Forest East Gate. If we zoom out a little bit, you can see those roads that take you to the private gated entrances of the Cibola National Forest. This here is called the North Gate, and through the North Gate you can enter the National Forest on foot, horseback, dirt bike, quad, side by side, or similar type of ATV. And through the East Gate you can enter the National Forest in a truck, Jeep, 4x4, SUV, or similar type of vehicle, along with ATVs, horseback, foot. If we zoom in a little bit here you can see the road through the National Forest. So it's an incredibly desirable attribute to have this private gated access to the National Forest. And all this green shaded area here, this is all the Cibola National Forest, roughly 300,000 contiguous acres. It's varied mountainous terrain covered with dense mature trees. If we go over here to the base layers and turn on the topographic map, and zoom in, you can see the elevation changes and also these natural creeks and springs all throughout the National Forest. In some areas, these will create natural waterfalls and they are a magnet for wildlife. The property is located in game management unit number 10, which is desirable for mule deer and elk. Game unit number 10 is said to have some of the largest bulls in New Mexico. There were fresh wildlife tracks on the property. And this is the plat map with the parcel highlighted in green. It's lot 72, and here you can see the measurements of that road frontage. So 1,912 feet along the east boundary, and then 1,605 feet along the southern boundary. Here's a contour map showing the elevations roughly 7,360 feet. In these images right here, we have that distance measured to the gates going into the National Forest. To the North Gate, you're only 3.1 miles from the property. And then the East Gate is only 2.5 miles from the property. And this gated access is only for the landowners in the El Moro ranches. This is a view from the property looking southwest at the El Moro National Monument hence the name El Moro Ranches. The El Moro National Monument is only about 15 minutes from the property. It's just over here to the west along State Highway 53. This is a paved state highway that connects directly to Interstate 40. There's information from the National Park Service on the El Moro National Monument. It's an incredibly beautiful area, lots of rich history. If we go back to the interactive map and then turn on the map features, the road to the property layer. We zoom out here. This shows you the path from the paved state highway to the property. This distance is only about 2.1 miles and this road connects directly to the paved state highway 53. And this entrance right here, this is a private gated entrance. This photo here is looking south from the gated entrance to the Amoro Ranches looking at the paved state highway 53. And this is from that same location then looking north into the Amoro Ranches. So all this area right here, this is the Cibola National Forest. Forest. Here's the gate entering the community and here's the keypad where you enter your code to go in and then go to your property. This image here shows the southeast corner where those roads intersect. You can see there's a survey marker right there. These are named roads throughout the community. There are the electricity lines and poles on the property. You can see the El Moro National Monument. Here's some more photos showing the roads. Here are the underground telephone and internet lines. Other photos showing the electricity lines and poles on the property. There's another survey marker. Here's showing the native vegetation, the mature trees of varying species and sizes. This is an aerial photo looking at the southeast corner of the property. Many of the landowners here have developed their properties to varying degrees, which we've identified by these white circles. Some landowners have manufactured mobile homes. You can see one right here. Here's a nicer, newer, double-wide manufactured mobile home. You can see they have 
An accessory building. This looks like it's maybe a shipping container. They have a fifth wheel parked outside. Here's another photo of that property. There's the Omoro National Monument in the background. Here's some more landowners in the distance that have developed their properties. This landowner here looks like they have a nicer, newer, single-wide mobile and manufactured home. Some accessory buildings tucked within the trees. Here's several more landowners that have developed their properties. Here's some ground photos of the neighbors. This landowner has a couple of shipping containers. They have what would be like their main home, fifth wheel, some accessory buildings. Here's a nicer, newer log home with a big wraparound porch. Looks to be like a corral or stables. Maybe they have some horses or livestock. Here's some aerial photos. You can use the property recreationally, seasonally, or live there full time as many of the landowners do. The minimum dwelling size if you're going to build a permanent structure is only 800 square feet. Again, you can have accessory buildings, barns, corrals, workshops, garages, things of that nature. I've seen several yurts on properties. And then some of the landowners will build larger custom homes. If we go back to our interactive map and zoom out again, you can see where the property is located in relationship to some nearby cities. This is the paved state highway 53 that will take you east to the city of Grants and the neighboring town of Milan. The combined population here is about 14,000. Grants is the county seat of Cibola County where the property is located. There you'll find medical care. There's a Walmart super center, grocery stores, building supplies, restaurants, professional services, along with the municipal airport. Over here is the city of Gallup. Gallup's just a little over an hour from the property. And Gallup has a population around 22,000. There you'll also find medical care, Walmart Supercenter, building supplies, grocery stores, professional services. And as we point out over here to the east, you have Interstate 40, which connects directly to the paved state Highway 53. And then this will take you directly to Albuquerque. Albuquerque's just under two hours from the property. Albuquerque has a population over half a million. It's the largest city in New Mexico, and there's also an international airport in Albuquerque. And in closer proximity, you have the town of Rama. Rama is only about 25 minutes west of the property. Rama has a population around 400. There's a cafe, a family dollar, there's a post office, even some ancient cliff dwellings. And then 30 minutes from the property, you have the Rama Reservoir, which is desirable for hiking, canoeing, and fishing. This is the scenic Route 66 that goes through Grants and Milan. Again, that's only about 48 minutes from the property. And then here's Interstate 40 in Grants. This is the Cibola General Hospital in Grants. There's the Walmart Supercenter, the Municipal Airport. About an hour and seven minutes from the Blue Water Lake State Park, which is also desirable for hiking, horseback riding, fishing, and boating. About an hour and 30 minutes from Mount Taylor, with a peak elevation of over 11,300 feet. And then here's the distance to Albuquerque, about an hour and 52 minutes from the property to Albuquerque. Again, Albuquerque has a population over half a million, largest city in New Mexico with an international airport also. We have this 21.2 acre ranch with electricity, telephone and internet, road access along the entire east and south boundaries, and then the private gated access, not just to the community, but then also the private gated access to the 300,000 acres of the Cibola National Forest, which is incredibly desirable and unique attribute. We have this property price of only 39.9. We've recently sold a couple of properties in the El Moro ranches. It's a great value to have all of these attributes in one property. And we only have one of each parcel available. And we sell our properties on a first come first serve basis. So if this property fits what you're looking for, we highly recommend you go to our website and click on this buy now button. What that'll do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart. Then click checkout. Once you click checkout, this window will appear where you can enter in all your information then continue through the checkout process. Once that checkout process has been completed, this buy now button here, this automatically changes to out of stock. Again, we only have one of each parcel available so only one person can place a deposit on a property. We'll receive an instant notification that your $4.99 deposit has been made. We'll then take the property off the market, send you over a simple one-page purchase agreement, and arrange for the balance of payment. The remaining balance may be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, ACH, bank draft, credit card, debit card, or any combination of these methods. We make the whole process super simple and it can be completed in as little as a day. There are no other commissions or fees, so your total purchase price for this 21.23 acre parcel is only $39.9. If you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. We also have a live chat feature here on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message to respond to your next availability. You can also fill out this contact form here on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. We sincerely appreciate you taking the time to visit our website and watch our property videos. 
and then ask that you please share our website and our properties with all of your family, friends, and colleagues. The more people that we reach, the more properties that we can bring to market. And we're working diligently to bring you new amazing properties and incredible prices and then provide you with comprehensive information about each one of these properties. And it would truly be an honor to add you to the Landio family of happy customers. Thank you and God bless.